pirates try to capture a luxury ship, but they didn't expect this to happen. The ocean's grace, a symbol of human ingenuity and the dream of countless adventurers, embarked on its voyage across the endless blue. Its decks filled with the laughter of families and the soft melodies of relaxation, promised an escape from the mundanity of everyday life. Yet as the ship cut through the waves of the Gulf of Aden, an unseen shadow of danger trailed in its wake. Captain John Avery, with years of maritime experience etched into his weathered face, gazed out at the horizon with a knowing eye, aware of the threats that prowled these waters. He had fortified the ocean's grace with the latest in maritime defense technology, ensuring the safety of his guests and crew against the scourge of piracy. Mia Chen, the vigilant head of security, moved through the ship with purpose, her mind always a step ahead of potential threats. Her team, trained for scenarios most passengers could scarcely imagine, practiced drills with a precision that belied the serene atmosphere aboard. Their presence was a reassurance, a silent promise of protection that allowed the passengers to indulge in the ship's luxuries without a care in the world. Among the sea of carefree faces was Lucas, a young boy whose eyes sparkled with the thrill of adventure. He hung on every word of the tales told by the crew, tales of distant lands and the mysteries of the deep. Lucas's imagination soared with pirates and heroes, unaware that the stories he adored were inspired by the very real dangers that lurked just beyond the ship's rails. As the ocean's grace sailed gracefully through the waters, it was a world unto itself, a floating citadel of joy and discovery. But beneath the surface of this idyllic journey, Captain Avery and Mia Chen stood vigilant, guardians of the peace and safety that allowed their passengers to dream. In the vastness of the open sea, where dangers and beauty danced in the waves, the ocean's grace was a testament to the enduring spirit of adventure and the unyielding resolve to safeguard it. Under the cloak of night, with the stars whispering tales of old, the ocean's grace glided across the velvet sea, its passengers lost in dreams of the morrow. This serenity, however, was abruptly pierced by the shrill cry of the alarm, spreading a wave of unease across the deck. The stillness of the night was shattered as the dark silhouettes of pirate skiffs sliced through the water, their intentions as malevolent as the shadows that cloaked them. Captain John Avery, with a calm born of countless storms weathered, took the helm, his voice steady as he issued commands. The ship a behemoth of steel and ingenuity, responded, weaving through the waters in an intricate dance of evasion. Mia Chen, her demeanor unflappable, coordinated with her team, a symphony of precision and urgency. She activated the long-range acoustic device, unleashing a torrent of sound designed to incapacitate, the air vibrating with the power of their defense. In the midst of chaos, young Lucas stood, his heart a tempest of fear and awe. The tales of pirates, once distant stories, unfolded before his eyes, a stark reality against the backdrop of the night. Yet in the heart of danger, a seed of courage sprouted within him, watching as the crew of the ocean's grace stood resolute against the advancing threat. The passengers, once merry souls adrift in the pleasures of the voyage, found shelter below decks, their trust in the ship and its guardians unwavering. Mia's team, a shield against the darkness, employed every tool at their disposal. The Elrad's piercing cry, a beacon of hope amidst the encroaching peril. As the ocean's grace danced with danger, the resolve of its crew and the spirit of its passengers shone like a lighthouse, guiding them through the night. The pirate attack, a specter of fear was met with the indomitable will of those who sail under the banner of the ocean's grace, their unity a fortress against the tides of fortune. The night air, previously filled with the tranquility of the open sea, was now charged with tension as the pirate skiffs drew perilously close to the ocean's grace. It was then that the cruise liner unveiled its secret weapon, the P-trap system, as the pirates attempted their audacious boarding, 
they found themselves caught in an invisible web of cables, their boats ensnared and immobilized by this marvel of maritime defense. From the decks above, water cannons roared to life, unleashing torrents of seawater with the force of tempests, pushing back against the encroaching danger with unyielding vigor. Among the ship's passengers, Lucas watched with wide-eyed wonder. The fear that had gripped his heart was now replaced by an indelible sense of awe. He saw the crew, a steadfast collective of determination and bravery, orchestrating a defense that was as formidable as it was mesmerizing. The unity and precision with which they operated the P-trap and water cannons spoke of countless drills and an unbreakable resolve to protect their floating sanctuary. As the pirate boats retreated into the night, defeated by the ship's defenses, a collective sigh of relief swept across the ocean's grace. The passengers, moments ago united in apprehension, now shared a bond forged in the crucible of adversity. The ordeal had transformed them, no longer just tourists on a voyage, but comrades who had faced down fear together. For young Lucas, the experience was transformative. Witnessing the crew's courage and the ship's might against the pirates ignited a flame within him. He no longer saw the sea as just a vast expanse to be crossed, but as a realm of endless possibilities and adventures. The resolve and teamwork of the Ocean's Grace crew inspired him, planting the seeds of a dream to one day stand at the helm of his own ship, facing the unknown with bravery and heading towards adventure with an open heart. This ordeal, while a testament to the dangers that lurk in the open waters, also highlighted the triumph of human ingenuity, courage, and the spirit of adventure that defines the essence of sea travel.